Welcome to another edition of Pastor Kumui's Illustrations. The danger of apostasy. Look at it in verse 4, chapter 6 of Hebrews. For it is impossible for those that were once enlightened. And have tasted of the heavenly key. And were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. And they have tasted of the good word of God. And the powers of the world to come. If they shall fall away. To renew them again unto repentance. Why? Because they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh and they put him to an open shame. You see, it says here, it is it's impossible to renew them again unto repentance. And you see there are people, theologians that are taking that word in verse 4 and they say, well, that word says impossible. Uh, why don't we modify it a little and just understand it is difficult to renew them again unto repentance. Well, if we do that, was that one impossible there? We have to do also with Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Because Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Then we have to change that a little. We have to say, It is difficult to please him. Now can you see there, if you change it in one place, you have to change it in, in the other place. But it doesn't say it is uh, difficult for to renew them to repentance, it says it is impossible. And so you see what the Lord is saying here. Let's come back to Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews chapter 6, let's Let's look at verse 18. It says, By two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie. If we change the word impossible to difficult, we have to change that verse and we have to say by that by two immutable things in which it was difficult for God to lie. He can lie, but it's difficult. It's difficult for God to lie. You can't say that. The word impossible is impossible. You say it's impossible for God to lie. So you see, we leave the word impossible there in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 6 and we read this as it says, we accept this as it is, we interpret it as it is, we understand this as it says, it says it is impossible for those who were once enlightened, who have tasted of the heavenly gifts and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted of the good word of God and the paths of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance. You see, it is telling us that the hope of restoration for the apostates who are falling away, that that hope is forever gone. Backsliders who fall, they can come back. Backsliders who fall can come back. David repented, he came back. And uh, God rebuked Moses for striking the rock two times. He pleaded with God, he's now in heaven. Peter fell and he told a lie, but he wept, he cried, he came back into the kingdom of God, and God still used him mightily. The prodigal son that went to the far country, he came back to himself, he repented, he came back, and the father received him. 
But if a person goes beyond backsliding, it is goes to the point of falling away, to the point of apostasy, the result is frightening because it becomes equivalent to committing the unpardonable sin. The people who are falling away are the people that eventually have committed the unpardonable sin. They cannot be forgiven, they cannot be renewed again to repentance. In Jeremiah chapter 8, Jeremiah chapter 8, reading from verses 4 and 5, moreover thou shalt say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Shall they fall and not arise, that shall they turn away and not return? These people, they are backsliding. And God was sending Jeremiah to them. God was saying, How long will I wait for you? Will you fall and not arise? Will you turn away from me and not return? He said in verse 5, Why then is these people of Jerusalem sliding back by a perpetual backsliding? You see, they were going beyond backsliding and they were making it perpetual backsliding. It says they hold fast the seed, they refuse to return. That's the danger that a person that has fallen into sin he gets in love with that sin, he adds to that sin. He begins to defend that sin. He begins to rejoice in that sin. He begins to recommend that sin. He begins to say, I don't worry anymore, whatever the consequence. He makes the backsliding a perpetual, permanent, forever backsliding. He has gone into the seat. He is holding on to the seat. He is holding fast to the seat. And instead of returning like a prodigal son, he doesn't want to return. He refuses to return. He begins to close the gate and lock the gate and seal the gate of repentance and restoration against himself. That's, that's the danger of apostasy. In 2 Peter chapter 2, reading from verse 1, but our false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily privately shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction this is not talking about the people that are weak and they have been deceived this is not talking about on intelligent people who did not know the word of God very well and therefore some false prophets, some false preachers deceive them. These are not the people that uh, shockingly and surprisingly some uh, peddlers of false doctrine came to them and because they didn't know their scriptures very well they fell into the sea. This is talking about the people that lay the truth aside. The people that abandon the truth. And deliberately they begin to investigate heresy. And they begin to try to prove the heresy that the heresy is right in. And they begin to deny the Lord that bought them before they were born again, before they were saved, before they were children of God, they were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. They now deliberately say that, that Jesus, we don't believe in his blood again, we don't believe in redemption again, he died for himself, not for them. And then they deny the Lord who had previously bought them and saved them and redeemed them and purchased them. They deny the Lord that bought them. There is no salvation for them again because the only Savior, they are totally rejected and they bring destruction swiftly upon themselves. 
o mo gbeti oni bagbo ba se sise se ire eni be inu re o baje ninu koro yara re adres ni gba address olorun so olorun sa lupun mi e tori pe mo ti ja kunle sugbon eni ti o sugbon mo olorun ma gbe lebu se ara wona to to si doju ti ni gba gba ki se nkan bo kele nkan gba gba ni now these are the people that join hands so jesus is coming here you are what you are so pa pelu judas is coming here these are the people that join hands so jews are they crucify the lord again you are what you are so pa pelu awon ju ni to to ka jesus olu amo the people that if they were there at the time when jesus christ was betrayed they would have betrayed jesus christ you are what you are pe to ma je pe wa laaye ni gba na ti a ti a ti jesus he ni we ba ti jesus we pelu we were there when the people were crying crucify him crucify him they would have cast their vote among the people and they too would have shouted crucify him mo je pe won la ba ni ati wa laaye ni gba na nigba ti awon eniyan ki gbe gbe e kan ma gbe lebu e kan ma gbe lebu awon na e ba ti ja ibo won ko mo ru awon eniyan le gbe so these are supporters are the people that now entertain hatred in their heart against Jesus Christ o wa tu mo se pe iru awon ti won ti subu kuro lodo olorun yi awon ti won ni ko rin lanu oko won ti Jesus olu o ni no ni but sliders the seal seal lord i know that you've done well to me you've done good to me i know you're taking care of me i'm the one that have disappointed you i have backslidden i have sinned i'm sorry for what i've done i will never do this again they don't have a threat against Jesus Christ they remember his death on the cross of Calvary and they cry but these ones they have a threat against the lord and they are shouting again with the people that crucify the lord crucify him o mo wi pe awon ti ba ka pe ida iru awon eni be won ni ko ri lanu oko won ti oluwa iru awon eni be je ma ra we be ninu adrai pe oluwa e mo ti fe ro re ko te je pe mo sa sise ti mo dese ise ni ko dari ki ni ko fa nugba ni sugba awon eni ata so pe won subu kuro lodo olorun pata pata yi wa do won po pelu awon ju pe e kan ma gbe lebu tori ko ri lanu oko won ordinary bus sliders are different awon ti won pe ida won ya ordinary bus sliders are looking at bible verses where can i find the promise of god that will promise me that if i pray god will forgive me awon ti o je asako la so won ma wa ise oro olorun ni bi wa ti be ri ileri olorun ibi ti Ordinary bus riders, they are looking for the buses of the blood of Jesus. That the blood of Jesus will cleanse me from all my all my sins, and they are trying to hold on to that. And the devil is saying, No, you cannot be saved. They say, No, God, I don't want to be lost. I don't want to go to hell. These ordinary bus riders, they are posted. They say they have nothing to do with the blood. They have nothing to do with Christ. They have nothing to do with the cross. They reject Christ. They say crucify him away with Christ. They don't want anything with Christ. That's why it's impossible to renew them again to repentance. And so, dear brother, say he, you ready to come out? awon ese oro olorun to so nipa e je jesus ipe e je jesus o gbe ni mo kuro nu ese do te je pe isa fe ma pale ni mo pe iro ni ko le dari ji o a ti ma ki e laya ni nipa te ese oro olorun to so nipa e je jesus sugbe to ti sa ko kuro lodo olorun pata pata to ti kuro lodo olorun iru eni be a ni ko oni kan kan se pelu e je jesus o oni kan kan se pelu igbala re e mu kuro e kan ma gbe lebu look at chapter 10 of hebrews verse 29 iwo wo e beru ori pe wa ese ibo kan de lagbe of how much sorra punishment suppose he shall he be thought worthy who has trodden on the foot the son of god and has counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and he has done despite unto the spirit of grace only melo melo ni ero pe a o je oluwa re ni iya kikan eni ti o se omo olorun male ti o si ka e je ma je mu ti a bi so di mimo si ohun wa e mo ti o si ke gan emi ore ofe you see the apostle here o wa ri e to ti kuro lodo olorun pataka pataka person that has fallen away o je e to ti subu kuro pataka pataka person that rejects the law o ni e to ti ko oluwa pataka pataka it's a person that the lord is self son of god in a pictorial form here is coming to him saying ah ah what have i done to you i died for you i shed my blood for you and that blood uh, began to flow and then he put jesus christ now he walked on jesus he has trod in on the foot the son of man and he counted the blood where which he had been sanctified in the past he counted that blood an unholy thing and then he has done death by to the spirit of grace he said spirit of god don't talk to me i don't want any of that nonsense he calls salvation nonsense he calls sanctification nonsense he calls uh, the blood of jesus nonsense and he pushed the lord away Way. He walks this way and say, "Let what will happen happen. Whatever will come, let it come. I don't want anything of that salvation." That's the apostate. Oh ma, e jo ti subu kuro lodo Olorun pata pata oni ru ere ta le koju finu wo bi Jesus Oluwa te tun se sun mo ninu oko re pe ton bi lere pe ore kini mo se fo pelu gbogbo ijiya pelu gbogbo iku oro ori ori ji agbelebo ki lo fa saba bi ti o fi kuro lodo mi ti o fi fi ni sile o ka koju nu we pe ni yi o le to ti omo Olorun ti e gbe kan to ti subu to temo le to mu e je mo je mo e ta ti ti so di ni mo tele to ka se o wa e mo to ke je ni ore ofe to ni ohun ni kan se pelu igbala to gbe igbala ni kan raja raja to gbe so di mo ni kan ti ohu lo to gbe mo ni kan ti ohu lo to so pe ke mo ko mo te bo soro mo o iru eni bayi o le se se fun wa lati mu wa pada wa sinu iru le pa page we are looking at in hebrews chapter 6 gives us a description of the apostate eh ayi ba ti bi ti a ka ni 
Jesus is the gift from heaven. And these are what we are talking about. Number one, they were once enlightened. Number two, they tasted the Lord and they knew that the Lord was good. Number three, look at Hebrews chapter uh, six, verse four. It says they were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. Partakers of the Holy Ghost. It's very clear to be a partaker is to be a sharer. They had a share in the gift in the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Number four, now, verse five, they have tasted the good word of God. These apostles we are talking about in the past, they tasted the word of God. The word of God was very sweet to their taste. There was a time they read the Bible. They also said they love the word of God. They will have quiet time. They will read it. They will understand it. They will cry about it. They will rejoice to find the word of God. They tasted of the word of God. How sweet are thy words unto my taste? Yea, sweeter than honey. To my ma. You see, that's the way they felt in the past. They read the word of God. It was like honey unto them. Very sweet to them. In the past, when they were still in the Lord, they tasted of the good word of God. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 5. And it says they have tasted of the powers of the world to come. That is the power of the Holy Ghost. Not only to be a sharer, not only to be a partaker, not only to be in communion with the Holy Ghost, even the dynamite and the power and the strength of the Holy Ghost, they are the power in their lives. 
to bow and knee, really at bar, I think to be a so I let me mean. You see all these fine things that happened to them in the past. Oh, yeah, well, come on, Roger, don't say that. In the past, they knew the law. They were once enlightened. They tasted of the heavenly key. They were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. They tasted the good word of God. And they tasted the powers of the world to come. The power of the Holy Ghost. And later now, they fell. And that's not enough. Now they fell away. After falling away, they became rebellious and blasphemous. I told they have got to the point now where it becomes impossible for them to retrace their steps and to come back into the kingdom. I hope you have been blessed by this edition of Pastor Kumui's illustrations. Please don't let this illustration die. Pass it on to others and you could be of help to someone somewhere. Till we meet next week again for another edition of Pastor Kumui's illustrations. Remain blessed.